Okay, here's these guys reacting to it. And uh, and in particular, what the Knicks should do in the offseason is what I really want to react to. Here, here, we, here we are. Let's, let's go. Mitchell Robinson, assuming he can come back and be healthy. I'm bringing back Randall. I want to bring back Ananobi. I'm bringing back the cast, letting them take a run at it, seeing if they can stay healthy. Well, you're right about Brunson. I mean, that would be team first to the nth degree. It'd be such a Jalen Brunson type of move because the guy has gotten it right every step along yeah. the way as a New York Nick. You could add that chapter to the list. Uh, as far as bringing guys back, I got to start with OG Ananobi. For what he provides on both ends of the floor, shooting, defense, versatility, I would tweak your suggestion with the bigs. I like Hortenstein a little bit more yeah. than Mitchell Robinson, who cannot stay healthy, and he's got no offensive game. I'm with you, though. I like the idea of bringing in a big who can go and stretch the floor. I like Hortenstein's chemistry, though, with Jalen Brunson, which was so obvious watching this postseason. But I'd also be taking flyers on what's going on in the trade market. And if there's one guy I'm keeping an eye on, one guy, Jimmy Butler. You trading Randall? For Jimmy Butler in a heartbeat. Yeah, see, I, I, I want to keep Randall. Now, they can make these moves in season yes. like they did a year ago. I want to bring the band back if they can. Get on and it'll be locked up. Bring back Randall. And I think they have to make a decision. And I think center. likely they will. Yeah. I think that's probably how it shakes out. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post that. But Jimmy Butler, that dude has it. I mean, yeah. him and Jalen Bronson, yeah. look out. <laughs> All right, rate that call in the chat. <clears throat> One being trash, five being facts. Worst take... Or is that a good take? A great take? If some of you are my franchise channel members, throw a worst take emoji in there if you feel it deserves that. Or or you can rate it with a number. I think that's a terrible take. And John's my guy. John's my guy. Jimmy Butler for Julius? No, 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 no. First and foremost, we don't need part-time players here. We don't need that. I get it. It's playoff, Jimmy. He takes his game up a notch in the playoffs. He's still a tough player. I get all of that. The ship has sailed, man. I'm not doing that. I'm not trading Julius, 28 years old, for, for, for an agent Jimmy Butler, a part-time player. Julius is 29. I'm not doing that for Jimmy Butler, who never plays in the regular season, takes games off, also has injury issues, and he's 34. Going to be 35 this season. And then you got to pay him. That's old Knicks. We're not doing that. We're not investing in players in, into the second half of their 30s. Come on, John. This is what I mean. We, we got to get away from the name business. And just look at what they've done. Played 60 games last year, 64 games the year before that, 57 the year before that. Not doing it. Worst take, ridiculous. Yeah, that's tomatoes worthy, John. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. It's on the sports night. Can't be wasting the people's time. So that was that one. Now, let's go on to our friends at Get Up. Our guys, Monica McNutt and uh, the solo, Han Solo, Alan Han, were on here. And um, the conversation was around, if not the Celtics, who's the team that could make it back, to, that can make it to the NBA Finals? Here's Monica on that one. Here we go. This is courtesy of ESPN's Get Up. If I were to say there will be a different team besides the Boston Celtics in the NBA Finals next year, which team would you tell me it was going to be? New York Knicks. Would you care to expand on that? Oh, though? I thought we were just doing <laughs> one-word answers. <laughs> um, Let's go I, to break. I, right, that's it. Drop the hammer. Uh, I think, first of all, we keep talking about health across the league, right? Like, if all these teams are healthy. I think if you had the opportunity to see a healthy New York Knicks squad, I think there's culture there, there's defense there. There's a toughness there. There's just a pedigree. I think Jalen Brunson is continuing to ascend. And honestly, people forget, Jay, or excuse me, Julius Randle was a 25-9 and nine guy, was an all-star in this league, and did not play down the stretch of the back the back half of the season. Yeah, he, yeah. So I think they January. have the pieces and the identity. Yeah. What, what, would you say Knicks, too? I, I lead with Knicks, but it's because what you said about the Heat, a healthy Miami Heat, a healthy Knicks team, Correct. a healthy Sixers team, 
all three of them are looking at the Celtics and saying all the same thing. We could have beaten them if we were healthy. And so that, to me, is going to be a big theme in the East next year. It's they're now the hunted, and you've got three squads that have the, the talent and depth to do it, to go after them and target them. But if the Knicks run it back as is, I look at them. I put them just ahead slightly. They went through some pain physically, but also emotionally yeah. about losing. And I think that's going to be a big rally cry for them. All right, that's our guys, Monica McNutt and Han Solo. Is it the Knicks? Rate that, rate that take in the chat. One being trash, five being facts. Worst take or great take? I think that's a great take by Monica. No homerism, no, no, no pom-poms. But health is going to be the key factor here. We've seen them in January. But the thing is here, I, I want to put the January thing on the, on the side too a little bit. Jan, the, the championship doesn't start in January. It's not about how well you're playing in January. It's about where you are in April. And getting to April is hard. It's an endurance test. That is why health is as, as much as, in, as a factor as it is who's on your roster. They got to be healthy. But they did come together nicely in January. We saw some flashes of what that big three could look like. And I do think if they are healthy, they will be the biggest challenger to the Celtics, even as is. But you go out and make some tweaks to the depth. Fortify that bench unit. How do you use that block down of a tree? That is going to be a key in terms of off-season move. What do they turn that into? Do they use a draft pick, and can they get value out of a draft pick on a rookie-scale deal? We're not asking for crazy contributions here, but somebody who can get in, get some minutes, and play smart, play hard, and be effective on both ends of the floor. What do they do with the mid-level exception? So those are the three things that I'm going to be looking at in terms of, of proving that bench depth. The Bogdanovich and Birch thing, for the most part, was not successful. So they've got to replace those guys and, and shore up the bench. Now, when you get into the regular season, it's going to be the health of Julius and OG that ultimately determine how far the Knicks can go. Assuming Brunson's there. Assuming Brunson is the constant. The health of Julius and OG will be the most vital component to the Knicks making it through the playoffs and through the Eastern Conference Finals. So I think it is a good take. Now, Solo had Philadelphia and Miami. Miami's got work to do. Uh, you know, Miami's got work to do. And my, and my camera just went out. Hang tight. Salute, salute. I'm right here. Let's uh, swing it down. I'm having camera issues, man. My camera's just been glitching out. Uh, might be just overheating, man, because we're cooking right now on KFTV. I think Miami's got work to do to get back. I'm not counting out Milwaukee just yet. And Philadelphia depends on who they get as their third guy. If they get Paul George, could be something there. So those two teams you got to factor in. Not a believer in Cleveland, no matter what they do. Orlando's still not ready yet, no matter what they do. It's Philly. It's the Knicks. Um, no, I'm putting Knicks, Philly. Milwaukee, Miami. I'm putting those four. If I, if I had to do my Eastern Conference power rankings, I'm going Celtics. Knicks, Philly, depending on who they get, Milwaukee Bucks. That's four. You want a fifth team? Don't want to get the Pacers that much respect. We'll see, man. I'm going to put the Pacers for right now. Put the Pacers. Health is wealth. Yeah, I'll put the Pacers. All right, D-Nice, I'll put the Pacers. We'll do that.